Top story. Two of the anti-vax army's top roundest and pointiest military officials have been taken out by corporate wokeness and endorsed the COVID vaccine. Look at this shit. Please take COVID seriously. I can't say it enough. Enough people have died. And it absolutely makes sense for many Americans to get vaccinated. If you have the chance, get the shot. But if It'll you save your life. Steve Ducey is clearly delirious from the fumes coming off Brian Kilmeade's eyebrow paint. Joining us now is author and news analyst for NBC and MSNBC, Howard Feynman. Howdy, Howard. Hello there, Tyler. Howard, why would these two fantastic journalists betray their principles of killing everyone like that? If they were smart, they would have taken credit for the fact that Donald Trump initially did push the development of vaccine, but as soon as it became Democrats who were administering them, many, many Republicans and conservatives, and frankly, people such as those on this show, have been saying, don't take it because Democrats are giving it to you. That's fantastically stupid, Whoa. so stupid, that even Sean Hannity and Steve Ducey have figured it out. Just a heads up, Howard. You can't f***ing say stupid on this show, okay? <laughs> this is clearly the legal department trying to cover their butts after someone at Fox News sexually harassed the vaccine. Now, up next, Antifa has their gender-neutral undies in a bunch because Jeff Beatbox became the first man to take a Party City cowboy costume into space and gaze out at the beautiful expanse of the universe and say, what if we filled this with trash? We need to take all heavy industry, all polluting industry, and move it into space and keep Earth as this beautiful gem of a planet that it is. Now that's going to take decades and decades to achieve, but you have to start and big things start with small steps. Oh man, I can't wait to go partially blind staring into a Dorito bag of clips. Howard, how much of his four minutes in space do you think Bezos spent thinking about garbage? <laughs> it sounds like a lot actually. The question is whether Bezos, who's a hugely important person on the planet, has the political awareness that he has to have, that he must have, and that he has a responsibility to have if he's gonna be this big of a dude. And uh, what I worry about is he's too much focused on his own dreams of interstellar achievement and not enough on the working conditions of his uh, workers. Jeff Bezos is truly an innovative thinker in the growing field of reassuring ourselves that one day we can just shoot our problems into space. I'm already doing my part and hurling my opioid addicted nephew into the sky. And now a follow up to our explosive tuning out the news investigation into Republican gubernatorial candidate and the Wayne Gretzky of rolling a passed out dad onto his side, Andrew Giuliani of New York. My colleague Tori Hughes released a hit piece on Andrew Giuliani accusing him of making up that he was the CEO of Giuliani Golf to show his small business experience. Then, after we requested a comment, erasing it from his website. Today, Andrew Giuliani appeared on WATN AM 1240 hotline with former Mayor Jeff Graham. And after the interview, I called in to defend him. Uh, good afternoon, you're on the air. Hey, I have, a, I have a question for Andrew Giuliani. Well, unfortunately, he had to scoot out. Uh, my name is Tyler Templeton. I'm a conservative TV host. Uh, I love Andrew Giuliani, I love his work, and, and there's this ridiculous attack out this morning about Giuliani golf not existing, saying that Andrew Giuliani doesn't have small business owning experience, uh, and, and I wanted him just to correct the record about Giuliani golf. Mm -hmm. Well, I, yeah, unfortunately, he's not here to do that. Are you from New York State? or? Yeah, I'm, I'm from Rome. Rome. Oh, okay. Great town down there. Now, here at Tuning Out the News, we like to keep our drama from spilling into the public. But, of course, my colleague, Tori Hughes, just had to call in and defend her investigation. Good afternoon. You're on the air. Hi, this is Tori Hughes. Um, I, I was listening to this Andrew Giuliani interview, and uh, I, I just wanted to weigh in if I could. Sure, go ahead. Well, you know, I, I, I hear, uh, you know, a, a caller come on and talk about uh, Giuliani Golf uh, and, you know, defend this thing. Uh, but, you know, I want to clear it all up. It doesn't exist. You know, I wish it did. Uh, you know, I, I, I really did wish it did. But I just talked to the taters last night. It's not there. And for some context, this caller, Tyler Templeton, who's calling in to talk to you guys about this. I work with the guy, and he's just caught up in the fantasy. Uh, you know, I, and it's just the type of coworker he is. Sloppy, wrecks the bathroom, cleans out the communal fridge like a raccoon. 
Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Andrew Giuliani, but uh, this Andrew Giuliani golf, it just isn't there. Thank you. All right, thank you. I didn't know what he was, he was, talk, he was talking about either. Okay, wow. First, it's a universally accepted rule of office fridges that if you swat a Tupperware off the shelf, the first person to lay on it with their whole body gets to scarf down the content. Second, the only reason he took Giuliani Golf off his website is he can't handle the flood of new customers trying to buy extra strong golf clubs that won't snap in half if they collide with the golfer's incisors. Howard, Giuliani Golf is as real as the children's cancer charity Eric Trump grew into a wildly successful money laundering operation. Back me up. Well, I will say this, uh, Tyler, uh, of Rome. It's a loser politically either way for the guy. If he did have a golf business, it certainly doesn't show his bona fides bona as an average guy. Uh, familiar with the uh, the interests and the uh, and the work of average people. And if he just made the whole thing up, that's bad too. So he loses in both respects, uh, which shows, as I analyze it, that he has the precise political instincts of his father. Andrew has been a small business owner since he was a child. Other kids made pennies setting up lemonade stands on sidewalks, but he made a fortune setting up a Bloody Mary stand outside his dad's bathroom. <laughs>